Hi everyone, it's Soros here. First of all, I just want to say thank you to Taco, Lemon Llama and all the Tap Titan 2 community. You guys have been fantastic. All the love and support you guys have given on these guides have been overwhelming. So I just want to say thank you. Now I have been getting a lot of questions and asking for help on decks. So a bit of confusion on which, which cards to you, what deck to use and when. So I thought I'd do a complete deck guide of exactly what to do and when. So this is my ultimate deck guide from version 3.1. Now there's five main points to, to a great deck build. I've done a previous video explaining about clan raid guides. Uh, please watch the clan raid guide video first. I'll put a link to it on the video above before watching this to give ex full explanation on clan raids so you, you know a bit more about exactly what clan raids are and what the decks mean. So you start off, first you need to understand what the main factors that affect a good card deck. There's five main points that determine this. First is your type of titan you're fighting. If it's an armor, a body type, or skeleton type, the titan's current health at the time, the type of cards you have, the level of cards you have, and the card swipe and pattern. Now these five factors decide whether you have a high chance of doing a massive damage on a titan lord. Now titan lords in clan raids have eight different body parts, the head, the torso, which is sometimes referred to as chest, the left shoulder, the right shoulder, the left hand, right hand, left leg and right leg. Now each body part has its own health and certain cards will have more of an effect on that body part. So read the description of each card to see which one is the best suited for the job. Now I'll start with tier one deck guys. This is beginners one. I'll start with this first because this is the first tier you come across if you're new to the game or if you just started clan raids, you can only access tier one Titan Lords first. The beginning section is tier one stage, assuming that you card levels are level one or around the low levels. In tier one stages, you can only get body or skeleton based Titan Lords. When you use the practice function on your card deck icon, you also get to fight body Titan Lords types only. You only can get armor Titan Lord types from tier two stages and above. Now, decks one to three are based on the assumption they'd be starting the fight with the Titan Lord at full health. So, deck one, you want to be having Blazing Inferno, Thriving Plague, Inspiration Force, and you want to be attacking all the body parts, a pattern of infinity sign or the figure eight, so shown in the picture on the right there. Now, attack two, you want to be using Clanship Barrage, Skull Bash, or Crushing Instinct, and you want to focus on the head only, and the attack pattern should be a small circle, which you rapidly do, like shown on the picture. Deck three should be Clanship Barrage, Moonbeam, and Soulfire. And you want to focus on a torso only, and attack pattern will be a small circle on one part. And deck four and five is when the body parts have been exposed, so it's three or more skeleton parts you can see, then you'd be swapping to decks four and five. So deck four will be clan tip barrage, razor win, victory march, and that will be focused on one body part. So again, tacking on a small circle on any one part. Deck five will be acid drench, radioactivity, victory march. And again, you want to focus torso only and focus on one small body part. So just to summarize, so for your first five slots, this is for set up for tier one Titan Lords, so that's body or skeleton types only. The first three decks will be at full health and then the following two decks will be at half health or when three or more skeleton parts are being shown. So slot one will be those cards with the hitting all body parts with the infinity sign attack pattern. Slot two will be those cards focused on head only or you can choose uh, to focus on torso only so pick one of those two to do the massive damage and then once the health has gone down and you start exposing skeleton parts move down to slot four which focuses on one body part and that's any body part on a small circle or, or you can do slot five which focuses on torso only and again that's a small circle pattern attack on one part now tier two deck guide is for armor titan lords. The first layer is armor which only exists on tier two titan lords. Armor has its own health and must be broken through before you can go to the next layer. Now decks one to three are assuming that titan lords are starting at full health. So deck one you want purifying blast, acid drench, prismatic rift and you want to focus on two or three parts and the attack pattern will be curved over two three parts. It's so like the picture shows you want to do the shoulder 
hand or leg you can do right or left side i wouldn't so focus on the head or torso because you have other cards that focus on that damage specifically uh, for deck two apologize uh, this spelling mistake is not pure foam blast acid drench and prismatic raft is actually as shown on the picture moonbeam soul fire and fragmentize and that will be focusing on the torso only and you want to do a tax pattern a small circle on that one part deck three would be clanship barrage skull bash ancestral favor and that would be focused on head only with attack pattern being a small circle on that one part now deck four is only to be used when you have three or more body parts exposed and that will be changed to raise a wind thriving plague inspiration force and you will focus on two or three parts with attack pattern being curved like shown in the picture so a summary for tier two deck upwards on titan lords that's focused on armor and body type titan lords so the following three decks are for when it titan lords at full health and the fourth decks is for when it's exposed so for slot one you want these cards focus on two or three body parts with attack passing curves and slot two was focused on torso only with these cards with the attack pattern be a small circle on that one torso part and then slot three with these cards a focus on head with the attack pattern being a small circle on that one part and then once you've exposed the skeleton you want to swap to these cards on slot four which focuses on two or three parts with the attack pattern being a curved hitting two or three parts with raid strategies you want to create group that level only specific cards this typically will be done by splitting up people leveling head or torso cards only and armor and body cards only so having your team specialized can give good results this can involve some coordination on when people can hit especially if you require an armor team to hit before the body team can begin so basically you want to look at the previous slides and if you want half your clan to be attacking just the head and torso and then the other clan hitting the exposed parts it'd be great because you can mean those people will level up those at specific cards higher than you would do if you were to level the cards evenly all of them so it's a great great way to really grind down those titan lords if you do it in that sense if you've got a really good communicating team now to spread out damage it's so people attacking all the parts at the same time and destroy it at once and overall kill damage to that part is wasted using decks focus around targeting several parts can help spread out your damage and prevent wastage this can also prevent situations where the head and torso is destroyed and it can of a lot of players who have leveled up those cards and leaving the rest of titan lord alive well focus specific parts this strategy revolves around maximizing victory in victory march targeting specific parts and bursting through them as soon as possible helps expose the skeleton which gives a large bonus to damage when using victory in march this strategy can work very well for titans that don't have much health in their arms since four parts can break easily and allow everyone else to finish off the head torso and leg so i hope that deck guide has helped just a quick guide on the sort of decks and card builds you can use that can give the best damage for the best titan lords and when to use them i hope it's made it easier to fight those titan lords than before and if you've got any questions questions by all means leave a comment and a like or you can join me in discord and ask me any questions directly i'm happy to help um, whenever i can if you have any other video suggestions please leave uh, mention and also i'll be streaming on twitch every sunday for 9 p.m which i'll be doing live tap tight into q and a's and just general chatting and hang around so feel free to drop by and say hi as well so thanks again for your lovely support and i hope to see you guys soon take care bye